What's up guys, Stark here. In today's character spotlight, we will be taking a look at the Dragon Slayer Siegfried. So we're gonna throw his pictures on the screen right now. Uh, he's got pretty cool artwork. Uh, I've really been liking his character in the new Fate anime. He's got one of my favorite voice actors. Not my overall favorite, but he's, he's one of my favorites. And you know, he's... I really like his artwork. It, it just looks really cool. His character design is really awesome in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I have him. He's okay. He's definitely not the best character, but he's okay. So moving on here to his stats. I throw them on the screen right now. Um, at level 80, he has 8,181 attack and 14,165 HP. Uh, so he is not that strong. Uh, he's really tanky though. He's got like, like I said, 14,000 HP. If you max him out completely, he almost gets to 20,000 HP. Like, he's a tank. Just wish he had some more defensive skills. He doesn't have a whole lot in that department. The skills he does have are going to be the Golden Rule C-, minus, which increases Noble Phantasm gain for three turns. It's a pretty moderate gain. Nothing too crazy. Whatever. His second skill is going to be Disengage A, which removes debuffs and restores HP. This is only a self buff. If this was an AoE buff, this would be amazing. It's just a self buff though. It does heal 1000 HP at level 1. At level 10, it's 2500. It's pretty good. I mean, he is really tanky, so having a heal is really nice on him. His final skill is going to be called Dragon Slayer A, which increases damage against dragons for 3 turns and decreases incoming damage from dragons for three turns. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I know he's called the Dragon Slayer, but having a skill that only works against dragons is kind of underwhelming. It means you're not going to really use him too much unless you're fighting a dragon, which I guess is fine if you want to farm like talons or claws or whatever you want to call them, or the scales or anything dragons drop, you know, he's your go-to guy. But if you're not fighting a dragon, I don't know if you want to take this guy. He's not really that strong. Uh, his, you can buff up the Dragon Slayer skill to an A++. And that will also increase Buster Card effectiveness for one turn. It's not bad. But again, it's only for dragons. So it's very limited in what you could do with this guy. So now I'm going to throw up his Ascension materials and his skill enhancement materials. You do need a bit of work for this guy. You need the seeds here. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the actual name of this. We're just going to call them seeds. Uh, you do need, you know, obviously you need the Saber Monument and you need some scales as well, which makes sense. I'm surprised you don't need, like, claws for this guy. Ideally, it would make sense to have the Dragon Slayer need Dragon Drops to evolve him. So we kind of have the Dragon Scales, but no talents, no claws, whatever. I guess, I mean, that would just make sense to me. I don't know. And then again, on his skill enhancement materials... He's got demon hearts instead of claws. He does have some scales. I, maybe I'm just being picky about it. I don't know. But I feel like that would have been a, a better fit for him. But hey, whatever. This is what you need. So that's what you're going to have to get. So now his craft essence here. I apologize. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I'm not German. I'm pretty sure this is German. But I'm not German. I've never taken German. I don't know how to speak it. Anyway, um... This craft essence is going to be called Daz Rheingold. Rheingold. I, I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I can't pronounce it. Anyway, that's what it is. And it's going to increase Noble Phantasm gain of all allies by 15% while on the field. Which is pretty nice. You get that Noble Phantasm gain going. Get your Noble Phantasms up faster. It's a pretty good support skill. Pretty good. I mean, there's not too many options right now. So it's be a pretty good one. So for his command cards and Noble Phantasm, he's going to have two arts, two buster, one quick. So you're going to gear him more towards an art or a buster setup, primarily for a buster setup because his skill kind of goes along with buster card effectiveness and his Noble Phantasm is buster as well. But again, if you're going against a dragon my, and you have his dragon slayer skill, then you want to throw him on your team anyway. But his Noble Phantasm, like I said, is a buster Noble Phantasm, and it will deal heavy damage to all enemies, will deal bonus damage to dragons, again, Dragon Slayer, whatever, 
But see, his Nullify Phantasm at least does it the way I feel like it should be done. It does heavy damage to all enemies regardless, but if they're a dragon, it's going to do more damage. So that's what his attack should have been, like his skill. It should have been increase his attack for three turns, and then increase damage against dragons for three turns. Makes sense to me. I don't know, just feels a little bit weird with this guy. So yeah, for his craft essences, you can just go ahead and use Kaleidoscope. Again, standard, always ready, always good, have your Nova Phantasm ready. Can't beat that. And then Verdant Sound of Destruction for the 15 Buster card effectiveness increase, or limit zero over for the 25. Again, you just wanna bump up his, you know, Buster card effectiveness. Uh, but if you do have his craft essence, I would probably recommend taking those over any of them other than Kaleidoscope. Even maybe, no, no, I probably would still take Kaleidoscope. So yeah, overall, character's not really that good. Um, like I said, if you're going against dragons, yeah, take them. If not, you don't really want to use them. Maybe just to level up his bond, but that's pretty much it. So tomorrow I'm going to do uh, Carmilla and we're kind of nearing the end of the four star servants and then i'll you know dip into the three and two star servants i don't know if i'm gonna do every single three and two star but i'll definitely do the ones i think are worth mentioning so stay tuned for that i'm gonna leave you guys with six reads noble phantasm and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Shh.